everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video, um, well exciting for me anyway. It's an unboxing video, as you can probably tell from the title. And today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new Canon G7X. Not only did I get the G7X, but I actually got the vloggers kit, which comes with a Joby Gorillapod and a SD card. Before I do start unboxing though, I would just like to say that I'm not bragging at all by making this video. I bought this with my own money, I saved up for it, and I've wanted it for a long time, so yeah. Also to start YouTube, you don't need a high tech camera, you can just use your iPhone camera, it's just as good. I just, yeah, I wanted to treat myself. So it comes in a box like this, like I said this is the vloggers kit, so it's mainly for vlogging um, or just making any sort of videos. I would like to start vlogging more which is why I wanted to invest in something like this. So let's open it up, okay. So this is what it looks like when you first open it. So on top you have a leaflet which is Canon's Guide to Vlogging. And on the front there's the PowerShot G7X Mark II which is the camera I got today. And also the ESOM50 which looks as if it's another sort of vlogging camera. So in here there's basically 10 steps on vlogging essentially. Then under the leaflet you have this, um, you've got the camera, the Joby Gorillapod and the SD card. So the SD card you get is 32 gigabytes. With my old camera, the one I'm using now, um, there wasn't anything wrong with this camera either. I'm still going to be using it just for different things. Um, but this is a 32 gigabyte SD card. So with this camera, obviously you need an SD card, um, the bigger the better, 32 gigabyte isn't bad so I'm very happy with that. So then the Joby Gorillapod, I do also have one of these already but a smaller one and this one looks like it's going to be a bit more sturdy as the one I have now often where you bend it it falls over quite a lot um, but yeah this one looks very sturdy. Okay, so here is the Gorillapod. So with the one I use at the moment, I is it taller? Yeah, it's a lot taller and it also doesn't have this silver bit around the top. Yeah, this is a lot more sturdy. Um, you can use this for vlogging, obviously you can hold it, um, get a bit more sort of distance away from you or just for a tripod, which is mainly what I use my other one for, um, just to hold my camera while I film my sit down videos. But like I said, I would like to start vlogging more and this will definitely come in handy for that and also my sit down videos. So with these, they just screw on into the camera. Um, I think the, this will fit any camera, so you don't have to have this one in particular. Um, yeah, any camera, this will slot into. So now for the most exciting part, the camera. So I actually picked this setup yesterday and I've been very patient in waiting to open it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. So inside you just have all your sort of paperwork, your leaflets, instructions there. We've just got some bits of cardboard. So, on this side you have the charger. You have a little strap to attach to the camera so you can pop it around your wrist so you won't drop it. And I will definitely be using that as I'm terrible for dropping things. So yep, I will definitely attach this onto the camera. Here you have the camera battery. And then this looks like, yeah, this is the battery charger. So with this, I really like this idea because with my camera, my old camera, the one I'm using now, um, you just charge the actual camera. But with this one, the battery 
slots into the battery charger and then you just plug this little box in so you don't have to charge the camera itself um, which I thought is quite cool so now all that's left in the box is the camera So here is what the camera looks like. It looks beautiful. What I really like um, with the front of it, this part is sort of rubber, um, which is very nice. I'm worried to touch it because I washed my hands before this video because I didn't want to get makeup or anything on it, um, but I'm still scared to touch it, just fingerprints. Um, so yeah, there's a little silver sort of knobby bit on the side which you attach the hand strap onto um i hope this is easy to use i'd imagine it is so many people use it and say it's very good so it will just take a bit of time to getting used to it on the side there's a little switch so if you press that yep so the flash pops up so you can use that when taking photos with this camera this is similar to my other one as well because the screen flips up so when you are filming you can see yourself which I love um, if I didn't have one of those I probably would have to film multiple times in order to get good content um, yeah and also stretches outwards like this so when if you're filming something up high you don't have to go underneath I guess you can just adjust it to how you want to so you can see um, so yeah I really really like the look of this I'm now going to pop the battery in let's hope it's charged um, first of all because if it's not we can't do a lot yet so there's just a switch on the bottom which you can pop the battery into I hope it's charged and then the on button is just on top so you just press that pops on and it's on so you have to set it up first um, it's not really focusing but this is just to set the date, the time, and yeah, etc. So I might do this now and then have a little play with it. And yeah, I might show you some pictures that I take on it. And let's see if the quality is good. So setup is all done. That was very quick. All you had to put in there was the date and the time. Um which is very good. Now it's asking for a memory card. So like I said, for this camera you need a memory card, which it came with. Um, so it wouldn't come with this if you just bought the camera on its own. Like I said, I bought the vlogging kit, which is why that came with it. So I'm just gonna pop this in there. This just goes in next to the battery. just clicks into place whoops switch it back on okay We're all done so now I'm going to test this out I'm going to pop in maybe some pictures like before and after pictures um, some videos and yeah I'll show you sort of the quality and if it's good. So as you can see now, I've attached the camera to my Joby Gorillapod. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited and I'll see you in a moment. So I'm now on my new camera. I'm not sure if you can tell, I definitely can. This quality is insane and I'm so pleased. I'm so happy I bought this camera. Um, and yeah, I love it. I'm actually going to go outside now into the actual daylight instead of my ring light and take some photos and show you the results. So here are some picture comparisons. One's taken on my new Canon G7X 
and others taken on my iPhone XR. So as you can see, the iPhone XR is still really, really good quality, but the Canon G7X shows a lot more details in the photos, and yeah, I love it. So in that mini sort of test run of using my new camera, I love it. Um, I'm so, so happy that was the camera that I chose to buy. And yeah, I can't wait to start filming my proper content with that camera and yeah very very happy so I decided to make this video because before buying this camera I watched lots of unboxing and review sort of videos on this camera so I thought I could also help other people out so they can watch this video if they're sort of wanting to get this camera because um, yeah I'd highly highly recommend it if you did enjoy this video I'd love if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I hope you're looking forward to seeing my future content on this camera so yeah see you in the next one